Hi, I'm Tim. Join me in this video as I'm going to show you how to take 1 8 inch music wire here, make beds like this using a wire bender. Let's get to it. When we build our RC model airplanes, we use a lot of what they call music wire um, in the planes, typically for landing gear, maybe for push rod wires and so forth. There's two general types of music wire. You can have what I just call the thin wire, and then you can have the thicker wire. This is a 1 8 inch wire. This is a pretty normal size for a landing gear. It'll, once you bend it, it'll keep the bend, but you, you, have, you absolutely have to have tools in order to do the bending. So. I will show you how to use a jig for this uh, thicker wire. Down below, I'll put the time mark if you want to jump ahead to that. But prior to showing how to bend this one with a jig, I want to give a short discussion with a good technique of how to make a Z-bend with this smaller music wire. So for the thinner music wire, it's very easy to use regular pliers. These are fairly heavy duty pliers. And what we do is simply hold it and we take the music wire and we bend it like this. Okay, there's a 90 degree bend. Now let me show you a technique very easy to make a Z bend, which is normally done for control of rod um, connections. We'll take the pliers and just put it on um, like this, bend it so that it looks like this, and then with the pliers, we'll rotate it like that so that we have the, the uh, what we call a Z-bend uh, that can go into a control horn and so forth for control rods. When we're done with this, with the thin wire, with the cutting edge of the pliers, it's very easy to just use this. And we can cut the music wire. So thin music wire is very okay and easy to use pliers. The problem we come to, and this will be the focus of the video from now, from here on, is what if we have, this is 1 8 inch music wire, there is no way in the world that you can bend this with pliers to get any type of reasonable bend, yet with the jig we can very easily do bends like this. So let's talk about the jig now. The instructions are here. I'll put them into the video. They're um, available online. I went to Micromark. The address is in the description, and it's just the Mini Wire Bender 60346. Now, if you do a Google search for wire benders for RC models, Dubro has one. It's a plastic bender. The catch with a Dubro uh, wire bender is for thin wires, like I did with the um, pliers for control rods, Z-bends, things of that nature. You can do that by hand with the pliers. And Dubro, in, in a credit to Dubro, they're very clear that you, you cannot use their wire bender for the 1 8 inch um, uh, music wire because it's just too strong. So this is the wire bender. So you have this part that goes into a uh, vise, and this is the handle. What will happen is, this is the top, and I'll put it into the vise here shortly, but what you do is, you take some music wire and you put it in like this against the um, retaining bolt, and this is the pin against which you're going to do the bending. And so what'll happen is, you take this handle, and this is very, very strong steel, you put this on here, and if you look, I'll turn it upside down, when we turn it this way, this pin will cause the metal to bend around this post. This retains it. It's confusing. It's not intuitive. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it now. But the key thing that you need to do when you get this is to just simply practice. Um, and after you practice it a few times, you'll say, OK, this is how it's working. You can practice with thinner wire, and, actu and actually the best practice of all is to use coat hanger wire. It's a very soft metal, very easy to handle. You just have to practice doing a few bends, and then you'll get the feel for it. An analogy might be like riding a bike. You just have to ride the bike, then all of a sudden it makes sense on how you do it. So let's take a, a moment and set up the um, bender in the vise. So here is the 
wire bender right here. There is a ledge under here. There is the option of doing it like that. However, I prefer to put it between the vise um, jaws here and I have a little bit more of a flat surface to work on. Again, this is very, very hard metal. As I mentioned, the vise is absolutely required to do this. There is no way to hold it by hand. Because the vise take, takes up a fair amount of my bench space, I have two removable bolts here with a bolt underneath. I can remove the vise when I'm not doing the metal bending ta uh, tasks to free up the, um, the free up the vise. So let's go ahead and do a few bends. As I mentioned, the wire goes in place like this and against this uh, bolt right here. This bolt is an Allen, uh, uh, Allen uh, wrench controls it so we can screw it down to hold the wire in place. The bend I use on a diagram, uh, this is a um, gel pen. You can see a very light blue mark. So just if we pretend we have the mark there, that's the way it's going to bend around. Because of physics of machine tools, this is one eighth inch wire. This is a one quarter inch turning post. It works out fine for the diameter of the one eighth inch wire. You can do smaller wires, but this is optimized for one eighth inch wire. We're going to go ahead and take this handle. Again, this is very strong metal and if you see that we're going to put this here like this and just use this to bend the music wire around. So let's put this in place. You're going to have a little bit of a hard time seeing it, but you can see I have the pin here up against the music wire and it takes a little bit of effort, but we can bend it. And here is the music wire bend. We can follow up with additional bends. So notice that I keep it very flat here for the 90 degree bend. We put this back in place and we're going to just literally bend it around that post. And here we have a 90 degree bend. If we want to start doing the bend um, to go uh, back up, we can place it like this. We can put in the wire bender again and so those are pretty good bends. Everything's straight. When you are done, you see this is off just a little bit. We can put this into the vise and just fine tune it a little bit to keep things lined up. And with practice again, you can get pretty close to uh, the finished product. When we are done with our bending, we have to cut the metal. The way to do that is with a Dremel tool with a cutting edge, proper eye protection, put that on there. It very easily cuts the music wire. So this is an example of the landing gear I did for my Pronto RC airplane that I'm in the process of building. Uh, it came out very nice. I can show you how level this is because it came, this is all flat right here. This is level across here. Everything worked okay with the wire bender with a little bit of last minute bending uh, just to get everything straightened up. This is the landing gear diagram uh, from here as well as a top view. And the one thing I wanted to point out, because this is a little bit of a complex bend, you just, again, have to practice with a bender to get it right. Because this wire is pretty heavy duty, what I would recommend is with the um, smaller music wire with pliers, just make a rough copy so you can see the direction of where all the metal's bending. That will help you visualize with the 1 8 inch before you take it to the bender. It's just gonna be uh, with the, um, uh, with a tool. It's going to be easy for pliers to visualize this type of bend. So thank you for joining me in this video. Again, this uh, wire bender from Micromark, um, it's a very well made. It's, it's like extremely heavy metal. I have no idea what it is, but it is just tough as nails. This is perfect for bending 1 8 inch music wire. It takes a little bit of practice, but after you do it, you get pretty adept at it. And then you've got to have a vice to put everything together, but this is a good 
tool to have in your workshop for any type of music wire bending tasks. So good luck with your um, efforts. Again, practice makes perfect. Thank you.